You're watching Spooky Noodles Channel. Subscribe or be my victim. Hello guys, what is up? It's your boy Spooky Noodles and I am back with another uh, review. So without further ado, let's get on to the review. Um, first of all, actually, first of all, I would like to say I do have this book at uh, my other place, but, and it's also, I, I believe it's signed by Jeff Strand. Um, I met him at Scares That Care. He seemed like a really funny guy. I didn't really know who he was, so I didn't spend too much time talking to him, but um, I re totally regret that now after reading Autumn Bleeds in the Winter and now reading Dweller. He's he's just phenomenal at writing coming of age stories. So I need to probably, uh, maybe have an actual longer chat with him one day, but anyways, for, without further ado, let's just hop into this review. So I'm gonna read the synopsis. Then I'll read my review. Then we will talk maybe a little bit about it and then we will end the video. So here we go. Here's the synopsis. Toby, was just a boy the first time he saw the creature in the woods. His parents convinced the ch terrified child it was only his imagination. The next time Toby saw the creature, he was a lonely, unhappy teenager without friends. But the creature would be his friend. It would be there when Toby needed someone to talk to, and it would take care of the bullies who wouldn't leave Toby alone. After all, the creature needed to eat. And during their macabre decades-long friendship, there will be other meals. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I, uh, will read my review now and then we'll talk. All right, here we go. A funny emotional roller coaster that will rip your guts out. This is a coming of age story that truly packed a punch. This is about Toby and his pet monster, Owen. A bond these two, the bond these two shared and the tragedies they go through was just so awesome to read about. The dynamic between Toby and Owen, plus other characters that are in throughout the book, show that Jeff Strand is amazing at writing believable characters. Mix in the horror and Jeff Strand's sense of humor, and you have yourself an amazing coming-of-age story. I truly love this one, and it's going to be in my top 10 for my favorite coming-of-age stories of all time. Five roaring stars from me. And that's true. I'm giving this five stars. Um, this book was amazing. It was just like how I don't even know what to say. This book is phenomenal. Uh, Owen is basically like a Sasquatch um, type creature. Uh, there's a little bit differences, I think, between Sasquatch and uh, o uh, Owen. But um, overall, I really like this. I liked the... Uh, I just like this book, man. Uh, there's so many things to like about it. Um, at first, Toby, I wasn't really liking Toby at first, but as he grew up, uh, I liked him more and more. And uh, the bond between Owen and Toby is what I really liked. I loved Owen so much. Um, but, you know, uh, the ending is a absolute stunner. Um, I won't give it away, but, man, I was... I was a little emotional afterwards. Um, this is, it ended exactly how I would have wanted it to end. At the same time, it still hurts. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I really like this book so much. Um, it's going in my top 10 for sure for coming of age stories of all time. Um, I had actually have to see where it would land. It might be like number eight or seven or something like that. I don't know, maybe even top five for all I know, but it's hard to break the top five because there's a pretty good top five there. Um, I think even Autumn Bleeds in the Winter is in the top five. So yeah, and this wasn't a fully like coming of age story. I mean, this goes throughout a man's life, you know, all the way up to like 60 years old. Um, and the thing he goes, the things he goes through and stuff is just, it's just a little heartbreaking. He does deserve it in some cases, but at sometimes, sometimes he doesn't deserve it. So, um, yeah. Um, but Owen, um, he's an animal and sometimes, um, well, I can't really say it because it will ruin the story, but yeah, that's Lula speaking of animals. She's barking because the next door neighbor's dog is barking. 
And maybe there's a giant Owen outside. How about that, Lula? What if the Owen's outside? She's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. All I know is the dogs next door are barking. But, um, here, I'll move the shade for you there, Lou. There you go. See? Anyways, um, that is it for my review. Very short review, I know. Um, I was expecting to talk about this book more than I actually did. But I feel like I got everything out that I wanted to get out in my review. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, very good book. Five stars. And I cannot wait to read more Jeff Strand. I have Ferocious on audiobook and on paperback, I think. Um, and then I have one other book, I think, by him. But I can't remember what it is. Um, it might be Dweller, Autumn Bleeds Into Winter, and, um, and, uh, and, uh, Ferocious. So, um, yeah. So, Ferocious will probably be my next book I read by Jeff Strand when I get around to it. Um, so, uh, yeah. Very good author, very good book, and I highly recommend it. Uh, geez, Lula. Lula just laid down and shook the whole table. She's heavy. And when she plops, man, the whole house shakes. And she's not even that big of a girl, man. Although she did eat a huge chicken yesterday. Not a literal chicken, like, well, maybe a literal chicken. Um, she didn't eat a live chicken is what I'm trying to say. But without further ado, um, the relationship between Toby and Owen reminded me kind of a little bit about me and Lula. You know, there's some, I, I don't know. I, I feel like everyone's going to say that, but... um about their pet, you know, but, uh, you know, some people might be like, you know, why would, uh, why would Toby put everyone in danger and stuff like that just because of his love between him and a monster? And I'm like, well, I would do a lot for my dog, you know, if my dog happened to just, you know, <laughs> I don't even want to throw it out there, but, uh, my dog happened to bite someone or something like that, you know, uh, they might be calling for her head and I would probably protect her, you know, uh, because, She's my dog. I love her. So I totally understand where Toby comes from in this story. So yeah. But without further ado, let's just end this video. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys.